what we have here are two different chargers one is made by amper time which is now li time l i t i m e uh, on the left and it does just uh, life po4 batteries so just your lithium batteries whereas this charger is a standard charger as you can see does agm regular lead acid motorcycle life po4 and has a repair function on it um, we're going to look at these two real quick today and do a quick assessment on both of them and as you can see i have a uh, amper time 50 amp hour lithium battery right behind it and that's what i originally had got this one here for was to charge the uh, amper time batteries that i had so the two things you're going to notice right off the bat this one is pretty plasticky you know it doesn't weigh a whole a lot and it seems kind of like the typical uh, I don't want to call it uh, junk because it actually works really well it's the typical uh, manufacturing process of I think a lot of companies now to keep the price down on units this one is built like a tank it is wicked heavy it's made out of metal uh, that doesn't mean it's necessarily a better unit it doesn't necessarily necessarily mean it's a worse unit but I will leave the description down in the bottom for both of these that you can go to Amazon and read up on the reviews of both of these surprisingly this amper time we're actually down to the lie time unit has a lot of negative comments regarding it either not working correctly or just overheating this unit has a lot of good uh, uh, reviews on it and some reviews I get you know people weren't too thrilled on certain functions however as a whole it works pretty well I paid about a hundred bucks for this one when I bought it originally to go with these uh, batteries these you can get for $25 a piece I ended up buying four of them uh, one I gave to a buddy for his I gave him one of my batteries as well for his uh, trolling motor on his on a small bass boat he loves it I love them uh, they're easy to get in and out of the boats I actually I'm gonna stop using these I just bought two new hundred amp hour minis that I'm going to be using as for my uh, trolling motor on the boats uh, up in uh, up north so getting back to these units the specs are relatively the same except for this one does 24 volt as well at 5 amp and it does 12 volt at 10 amp this one only says it does 12 volt at 10 amp and this one doesn't tell you what it does for uh, up to maximum amp hours on batteries this particular one tells you right on here that the maximum amp hour is 180 uh, however with the reviews I have seen people talk about doing their 200 amp hour batteries no problem uh, with that particular unit and this one right here I have used it for these batteries haven't had any issues since I had purchased it uh, if I had to do it all over again would I spend the hundred dollars on this or the hundred dollars on four of these four of these in a heartbeat so one of the things you're going to want to keep in mind now when you want to use these both of them actually because this unit as well some people cl were claiming it wasn't working however if you had put it if, if you had plugged it in first and then hooked it up to your battery sometimes it wasn't working what i have found for it to always work is that you connect it to your batteries first 
on both of these units. And now you're going to notice that once it does that, it comes up in here. And right now it is on AGM mode. I just charged one of my AGM batteries, one of the large ones, up in my garage with this. So I am going to swap the mode over. I forgot that this one you need to plug it in and then change your modes and then I change it over directly to the light PO4 because that's what this battery is and then it goes through and does its charging process uh, same thing with this one however the only thing that this unit has is one single light so it basically you know red for charging green means it's good um, and it's going to tell you if it is uh, a flashing red then you have some kind of charging error however this one has a true LED display on it and allows you to actually see what's going on tells you what what's going on with the voltage one thing that people have complained a little bit about on the reviews with this one is that even though that you're you want to be charging these up to about 14.6 volts this unit sometimes only charges up to 14.1 14.3 and they think they're not getting the full amount out of their battery um, I've also charged mine up with uh, a small solar setup up in New Hampshire and that setup uh, works great because I have some of these Renogy 10 amp Wanderer uh, solar controllers and I'm able to easily change the mode in between lead acid AGM or lithium batteries and I'm just using one 100 watt solar panel and it allows me to keep my trolling motor uh, batteries charged at all times and even if I want to throw a uh, power inverter on, I'll throw a, a power inverter on the uh, solar setup that's up there and I will charge my Ryobi batteries and whatnot to uh, do them all outside at the same time inside the little enclosure. So again this unit as you can see right now is in the process of charging that particular uh, battery and it could take a good three or four hours to get that battery charged up from you know almost nothing all the way back up to 100 percent so now i'm going to hook up the amper time or light time unit and set that up for charging And you're going to see started off green has gone to red and then it is now in charging mode and it will charge until this then goes off on steady green to let you know that you fully charged your battery um, thing I don't like about that is that without having that meter on there to tell you what percentage you're at if I want to charge this up for instance just to go out for a couple hours on uh, the lake and my battery I don't know what the percentage is I could say okay well I, don't, I only want to charge up to 60% 70% as long as it's up to that point I will be fine out on the lake for a few hours uh, or two or three hours and then be able to come back without any issues with this one you just don't know how much it's been charged up um, you know again that may not be a problem for other people that's something that I take into consideration when I want to get a charging unit. Every charger I've ever owned, uh, and I've had a bunch of the old Schumacher ones, uh, and use those for different types of batteries, um, I like to see what the percentage is when it charges. So if I were recommending anything to anybody, I would say go ahead and grab some of these uh, for what you're going to use them for it works out much better and You could like I said you can get four of these for the price of one of these and have spares You know 
I keep one in New Hampshire, gave one to a friend. I keep one here, and I keep one for a spare in case I need it. Uh, nice little units. Um, I wouldn't think twice about ordering more of these if I was going to um, replace these. Uh, you know, I don't know if they have any better units coming out from the manufacturer, but and the one thing you're going to notice too on the back of these though, it says Fox Sur is the maybe it's the model. Doesn't it? It's not the manufacturer according to uh, Amazon when you purchase it. Um, again, same thing on the box. It doesn't even really give you a manufacturer name on it um, you know you'll get a, a slight model number right here on the uh, UPC code but other than that it doesn't really tell you what it is but as far as unit goes I would stick with these uh, I hope that helps anybody that's looking for a charger that you can do these life PO4 batteries and uh, thanks for watching